DX12, posted by Vegetable Stew on the forum. On their blog, Microsoft calls DX12 Ultimate the culmination of the best graphics technology we've ever introduced in an unprecedented alignment between PC and Xbox Series X. That's pretty interesting, actually. It is pretty interesting. Now, to be clear, this is not a new API. <laughs> yeah. It's more like a standard feature set. And that was one of the problems, actually, starting with, I think, actually, I don't know if it really start. DirectX 9 even ran into this, now that I think about it, where you had, like, like 9B and 9C, and there were all these kind of, like, optional parts mm. of the spec that some developers would use, or some graphics card makers would support and others wouldn't. So basically, this is like, okay, we're going back to basics. This is DirectX 12 underscore 2 but we're gonna call it DirectX 12 Ultimate. And there's branding with it too, so you, you'll be able to buy PC components that have this branding, and if you buy an Xbox Series X, th that's crucial. That console is launching while this API exists. I believe uh, 12 came out while, like halfway through the life cycle of Xbox One, so yes. developers couldn't, they didn't know what features You can't go all in on DirectX 12 when you know that there's millions upon millions of devices out there that you're gonna have to do uh, like a DirectX 11 code base for anyway. So uh, these are the features that you know you're gonna get if you have that, have that branding. DirectX, ra DirectX ray tracing, yep. variable rate shading, mesh shaders, and sample feedback. Mesh shaders and sample feedback are way beyond me. I don't really understand what they do. Have you, have you tried to look into those? I am especially not familiar with sampler feedback. This is the kind of thing that we're probably going to have to do. Actually, uh, we should they're, send John a memo. We should do a tech quickie on this, get him to look into quite, it. They're quite technical. Like mesh shading, mesh shaders has to do with like the ge geometry pipeline. Right. And like, but, uh, but the upshot of almost, well, especially those last two, the upshot, well, actually all three of those other than ray tracing, the upshot is that you'll be able to get more performance either by only rendering, like just rendering more efficiently. Yeah. Like not rendering parts of the scene that you don't need, or be because it's more efficient, you can render higher resolution the things that you do want to see. Um, <clears throat> DirectX 12 Ultimate is intended to serve as a common baseline for both PC game development and Xbox Series X development. Thank goodness. Like, let's just do away with bad console ports. Now we've got mouse and keyboard support on the Xbox. We've got Xbox controller support on the PC. There's just no excuse for like bad navigation through menus and stuff like that, which makes it all the more unbelievable that I bought the Master Chief Collection last week to play some Halo Combat Evolved multiplayer co-op with Luke on my night off, and it was a hot mess. Like, you, what did they give you, like a cursor that you move with your thumbstick? No, it's not that bad, but it's just like the way some of the menus are laid out just made no sense whatsoever. Joining a multiplayer lobby was super unintuitive and it was really buggy. No matter how many times I restarted the game, restarted my system, rebound the action, either to defaults or to something else that I had assigned, there was no way for me to swap my weapon. So I was stuck with the stupid assault rifle the entire time. And I would, I would, I would look down at the weapon I wanna pick up and it would say, hold whatever I had assigned to swap weapons and no amount of doing it would make it work. Fortunately, we were just kind of dicking around anyway, so we uh, on yeah, the- Yeah, well, that's what you're relegated to. Yeah, the secret cartographer level, um, we managed to get the warthog all the way down to <laughs> the map room. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I have, I have that screen, brings me back. I have screen capture. It's amazing. We're basically pulled up to it like a drive through because I, um, I like hit it, and then, I mean, old games, right? Like, just the way that they worked was kind of more cobbled together, so- I activated it, and then there must be some kind of a delay between activating it while the cutscene like switches to cutscene mode or whatever, but I was able to turn and oh. get into the hog. So I'm like hanging there in the driver's seat. In the cutscene. In, in the cutscene. This is an in-engine cutscene. In the warthog with the secret cartographer looking like like a drive-through, <laughs> like a drive-through window. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever play Elder Scrolls Morrowind? I didn't get into Morrowind. That one was jank. There was a bunch of really steep hills that you're not supposed to walk up or climb, but if you just h keep hitting jump while you do it, you can just like glitch like your way edge up. edge your way up. And get into these stupid spots. Uh, amazing. Someone out there has the same childhood as me. Um, all right. Wanna do super oh, chats? Sorry, did I say secret cartographer? Silent cartographer. Sorry, I sorry, sorry. I thought that sorry. sounded weird. 